understand your shock. It's been a while. It is Pedros, isn't it? Yes. For a minute, I would have sworn it was Mikos. The resemblance always was striking. People have remarked it. Uncanny. Wouldn't you think so, Sean? Petros? Mr. Donnelly. I was not prepared for such a reunion. What brings you to Port Charles? The point is, what brings you? You have my brooch, Scorpio. I want it back. yours. I don't believe I need any identification. It is, after all, your brooch. Intact, I hope, and undamaged. I hardly touched it, I swear. You have your brooch now. What more do you want? Answers. Several. You can start by explaining to me how a valuable Cassidyne heirloom came to be in your hands. It wasn't Algernon Spock. Oh, this then is Algernon? Yes. He's my cousin. He's totally innocent. It's all been a mistake. Absolutely. I'm still waiting for that explanation. Algernon received an invitation to a party in Paris. When he awoke the next morning, he discovered the brooch had been planted on him. I have absolutely no idea how it got in my pocket. I swear to you. Be quiet, Algernon. Let Robert explain. I hope your explanation gets better, Robert. I'm telling you what Algernon told me. He received a plane ticket to fly to New York, supposedly sent by Holly, who in effect sent no ticket at all. Where did this ticket come from? We don't know. I recognized the Cassadine brooch immediately. I figured you'd be here sooner or later to pick it up. I had hoped to perfect my own plan before you arrived. Which was what? To return it to the police in Paris who could then give it back to you. The less I have to do with your family, the better. No offense. Hmm. Believe me, Mr. Scorpio, I had no burning desire to come to Port Charles either. It holds no pleasant memories for my family. Well, you've got your brooch. Now you can go back to Greece. Oh, no. Not until I've been given a satisfactory explanation. I went to a great deal of trouble to track down this brooch. I just told you what happened. I don't believe I've omitted anything, have I, Sean? Oh, Shred. I've asked for everything he said, Petros. Please. Don't insult my intelligence by expecting me to believe such a tale. But it's the truth. It's outrageous. I didn't fly all the way to New York, come up here in my yacht, to be told such a ridiculous story. It's exactly what happened. Look, what difference does it make? You've got your brooch. That incredible inconvenience to me. Whatever. I'll happily guide you out of town if it'll make you any happier. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not ready to leave yet. I have other business here. What business? Looking into the medical research that's going on at General Hospital, for one. As you know, of course, my family is financing it. I find it hard to believe you're going to stick around just to look at some research. Well, you'll just have to live with it. Now, if you'll excuse Before me. you go. You have my word that Algernon had nothing to do with the theft of that brooch. He was set up. For what reasons, I don't know. I'm sorry, Mr. Scorpio. I only accept facts I discover for myself. I warn you, Cassidyne. I want no trouble. There's only one way to avoid it, Scorpio. By giving me the truth. Don't wait too long. That's it. I'm finished. I'm done for. What do you think he's going to do? Whatever he does, I intend to keep a very close eye on him. Uh, a very close eye, because I'm sure his habits haven't changed, Robert. Lest we forget. Never. Oh, can't you order him out of town? You are the police commissioner. I have no cause. Well, we can't sit around and wait for one. Don't worry, Algernon. You're going to be quite safe. I wish I could believe that. I'll have to get back to the shipping company. Shipping company? Well, perhaps you can smuggle me out. Algernon, look, you're quite safe. Petros was just saber-rattling. 
Yeah, the Cassadines like to intimidate. It's just part of their nature. Oh, well, he did an excellent job. Robert, I'll talk to you later. I want to be uh, kept up to date on this business. Yeah. I need a drink. Did you see that look on his face? That man is up to something. I know when a man is up to something. Oh, calm down, Algernon. Well, he's got his brooch. Why doesn't he leave? Good question. Well, you're the police commissioner. Why don't you haul him in for questioning? I can't just haul him in without good reason. You of all people ought to know that. But Algernon has a good point. <clears throat> Why doesn't he leave now that he's got his brooch? You heard the man. He has business. I just can't imagine that any respectable businessman in Port Charles would do business with a Cassidyne. Holly, don't be so naive. People will do business with the devil if there's a buck involved. Disgraceful! What do you think he's going to do, Robert? I don't know, but I'm going to make damn sure I find out. This is my final curtain. I just know it. Don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> Holly, you heard the man. He doesn't believe my story. He wants me to pay for a crime I didn't commit. Why me? Yeah, Ramsey here. Bert, we've got us some trouble with a capital C. <laughs> Don't you mean T? No, I meant C. C is in Cassidines, remember? Cassidines? You bet I do. Yeah, this one's called Petros, and he's in town. I want us to put a 24-hour tail on him. Oh, Petros, eh? Well, tell me, where's he staying? Well, he said he sailed up from New York in his yacht, so I imagine he's parked somewhere in the boat basin. Okay, I'll find out where. I mean, now if it sails. Right, uh, Robert, tell me something. Are we looking for anything in particular? Just movement at this point. If anything moves, you'll certainly hear about it. Well, at least we know where Petros is going to be while he's here. Does that make you feel any better? The only thing that will make me feel better is if I wake up and realize this whole thing has been a nightmare. I need some more of this. Scorpio. Robert, the men I have staked out at Petrus' yacht said that it's took on food supplies this afternoon. Which could mean he's staying. Well, unless it's some kind of camouflage. So hold on a second. Yeah. Algernon says he's getting a headache. He's not the only one. Robert, some news. I hope it's good. Well, that's for you to decide. Cassadine is a general hospital. You said he might be going there. Well, my man just spotted him going in about five minutes ago. Good. Okay, keep me posted. Shipping. Let me speak to Donnelly. This is Scorpio. One minute. Scorpio. Robert, any news? Petros is at General Hospital. I don't say. What do you think that means? Well, he said he was going to look in on some of that carbonic research. That's where it is. Look, I've got a pile of things to do first. Any chance that you can go down there and sort of keep an eye on him till I show up? Nothing I'd rather do. I shouldn't be too long. No, 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 take your time. If there's anything to be found out, you know I will. Thank you, Sean. All right. Mr. Vandenor, please call your service. You're following me, Scorpio. No law against that. Insulting, I won't have it. I won't have you making any trouble in my city. I intend to pursue my rightful investigation of why my family have that brooch stolen from them. You got it back? Not good enough for me. I intend to find out who stole it and why. What's the point? The point is I won't be pushed. I won't be used. Someone is doing that. And I'm not leaving Port Charles until I find out who it is. Hello, Robert. We can continue our tour now, Mr. Castaign. Hmm. This way. Report to the sixth now, did he ask you about anything else apart from the teaching facility? No, no, he didn't. He should have been thrown out bodily. I'm not defending the man, but it is his family's money that's building the new wing. It is thieves' money, Steve. Actually, Petros and Mika said a falling out, and Petros was banished from the family. What do you mean? Well, it means that he was out of the picture for a while. It's possible that he wasn't involved in anything to do with Luke and Laura. There's no proof of that. Well, the man's gone now. 
And he seemed happy with the new facility. Hopefully, we won't see any more of him. If you do, could you contact me immediately, please? Yes, of course. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sure. Well, yes, I'd better get back to work. Um, will I see you later, Sean? I'm looking forward to it, Monica. Okay, fine. And if there's anything I can do, Robert, you just let me know. Thank you. Okay. Why did he come here? Maybe it was just an innocent little visit. Come on, the Cassidines never do anything innocently, and certainly not without motive. Well, I have a business meeting. If uh, you hear anything? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Phone call for Dr. Jones, second floor nurse's station. Phone call for Dr. Anthony Jones, second floor nurse's station. Just breathe slowly, Anthony. I think I'm having a heart attack. No, you're not. Just breathe. That's better. What's all this? Algernon's hyperventilator. Well, what good is this paper bag for? Well, I read that it helps a bit. Come on. No, 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 no. A plastic bag is what I need to put one over my head and die. It'll be a lot faster than if Petros gets his hands on me. Algernon, look. You're going to be all right. Lighten up. What happened to the hospital? Well, Petros claimed he was there to see how they were spending the Cassidine money. I don't believe that for a minute. Neither do I. You, you didn't make him angry, did you? Furious. <laughs> He's only joking, aren't you, Robert? Algernon, look, nothing is going to happen to you. Don't forget, you are, after all, in the house of the police commissioner. Oh, yes. Are the windows bulletproof? No, but I can tell you somewhere that you can hide. Where? Well, show me. Right over here. Oh, I've forgotten about that. A secret room. That's perfect. I shall just go and get my blanket. No, you can't sleep in there. Oh, yes, they'll never find me in there. Now, what have you got in the fridge? I just need some provisions. You're perfectly safe in your own room. No, I'm not safe anywhere. <laughs> you know what you need? The Marines. A good night's sleep. I couldn't sleep a week. Work on it. Either of you light sleepers? Why? In case I scream. Will you hear me? Good night, Algernon. Just go to sleep. The poor thing's a nervous wreck. Obviously, you inherited all the nerve in your family. I don't know how to take that. So what do you think Petros is up to? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Do you think he's dangerous? The only thing dangerous in this household tonight is me. Mm. Like that kind of danger? Mm.